Okay, a pleasant afternoon, everyone. This is just the continuation of the lecture about chemical bonding. Chemical bonding and uh, chemical bonding two. Uh, so in the previous, we had already discussed the different types of chemical bonding. That is the ionic bond, covalent bond, and the metallic bond. Okay, so this afternoon we will continue with how are we going to write that kind of a bonding by means of a Lewis structure. So we already know that Lewis structure is the structure wherein the molecules of the compound is being shown using the so-called <clears throat> the dot, no? the dot formation. That is Lewis structure. It could either be shown by means of the bonding and the non-bonding electrons. So how are we going to write the Lewis structure of a compound, either a polar and a non-polar, either an ionic compound, no? ionic bond, formed by ionic bond, or formed by covalent bond. So how are we going to write the Lewis structure? So we have now here the procedure. Uh, so the first thing that you are going to do is we should get the sum of the valence electron in all of the elements in a given compound. Uh, so as I have said, the valence electron is the electrons in the outermost shell. So how are, how are you going to know the valence electron? The valence electron is equal to the group. No? That is the group of elements, the elements which is written by its group in the periodic table. Okay, so that is what is meant by valence electron. So for instance, if it is in group one, meaning the valence electron there is one, okay. Then group two, two, okay. So how are we going to get now the sum of the valence electron? So it will be different now if it is a polyatomic ion or a molecule. So for instance, let us find now the valence electron of what is this? This is phosphorus, it is named as phosphorus trichloride. There is one atom in phosphorus and three atoms in chlorine. Okay, so looking into the periodic table, no? look into your periodic table. Where can we find phosphorus? So phosphorus belongs to group five. So how many atoms are there in phosphorus? Only one, that is five. How, to, how are you going to get the, the total valence electron of phosphorus trichloride? That is number of atoms multiplied by the valence electron of the element, phosphorus. So that is one times five plus, then how many atoms are there in chlorine? There are three. And where is chlorine located in the groupings? It is in group seven. So the valence electron there is seven. So seven times three, that is 21 plus five, 26. Meaning the total or the sum of the valence of electron of Phosphorus trichloride is 26, meaning there will be 26 electrons that should be seen in phosphorus trichloride. So how many that, huh? that, that there will be equivalent to 26, okay? Because there will be 26 electrons. So if it is an ion, add one electron for each negative charge. So if but this one is, it has, it, it is in a form of molecule. It is not in a form of polyatomic ion. But if it is a polyatomic ion, always remember, if it is an ion, okay, you should add one electron for each negative charge. So if it is NH 
for positive, no? It has a charged one, therefore, add if it is an ion minus if it's positive one in the sum of the valence, you subtract negative one. That is for an ion. For cut ion, if cut ion subtract one electron for each that is add and the other one is subtract one electron for each positive charge. But the positive gani minus kung negative gani plus. Okay. So how are we going to write now the second rule? Now, the first one is get the total valence electron of all atoms in a molecule or a polyatomic ion. Polyatomic ion, if it has a positive charge, minus. If it is a negative charge, plus. Okay. The second rule, you should get the central atom. No? Central atom is the least electronegative element. Least electronegative element, how will you know it's least? Phosphorus is having five, the positive five. While uh, five, the valence electron is five, while chlorine is seven. So which is least? Of course, it is phosphorus. So your phosphorus will be at the central atom. Central atom meaning na asa tunga, na? Then connected by chlorine. Panagsa hydrogen na siya. So it is here. Then no, connect the outer atoms to it by single bonds. In a single bond, how many electrons? There is two. Therefore, pilato 26. Then we connect naman nato ni siya. No, that is, this is two electrons plus two plus two, meaning six minus six. So we need 20 electrons pa for the outer atoms. Now, so this is rule number two. Rule number three, we are going to fill out using the octet rule, meaning eight electrons in every element. Now the remaining, the remaining, that is pilato, 26 minus six, then 20 minus, no? so pila kabuo, diba? We are going to have this in two, Add this, no? it will be octet rule. So, kinalan two, then four, six, eight. Then another two, four, six, eight. Another two, four, six, eight. So, pila na kabuko to na add. This is six plus six, 12 plus six. It is pila na 18. Na apply, subtract that one. Na apply two electrons. So, your Last is fill the octet of the central. Ang pinaka last na tung butangan og octet is the central atom. So we add to here. So if we are going to look into the chlorine on the left side, pila ka electrons tanan? Eight. The octet, octet rule man. That is two, four, six, eight. Chlorine on the right side, that is two, four, six, eight also. Chlorine down, no? it is two, four, six, eight. Phosphorus at the center, that is two, four, six, eight. Therefore, this is now, this one is now the lowest structure of phosphorus trichloride. Okay? So let us write another one. No? Let us write at the at CN. Now, HCN, that is uh, hydrogen, saya, uh, hydrogen, saya, night. Okay, HCN. Okay, so how are we going to write this? Uh, the first one is, of course, let us have the, get the total. Diba? So, get the total. First rule, get the total. Valence electron. Hydrogen is one. No? That is one. Only hydrogen has two. Two gonna hydrogen. Therefore, that is hydrogen one times two, then carbon one times. If your formula here, HCN. Okay. HCN. 
get the total valence electron. Okay, that is H, that is one times two plus carbon one times where it is where carbon belongs, it belongs to group four. So that is one times one times one plus four times one. Then nitrogen you have it belongs to group five. Therefore, that is five times one. So how many total valence electron? That is one plus four, five plus five, 10. So there will be 10 electrons. What's the second? Second rule is, okay, what will be our central atom? Because that is HCN, okay? Our central atom will be, aside, we could not place hydrogen at the center. It could not be at the central atom because hydrogen is always at the side. Are you going to butang sa tunga ang hydrogen, ha? Therefore, carbon and hydrogen, can say least, it's carbon. So your carbon will be at the center, okay? Then your nitrogen will be on the other side. Next thing is, pila na nitanan? It's 10. 10 minus, that is 2 plus 2, 4. Six, six na lang ka electrons. Okay. So how are you going to have that? No problem for hydrogen. Complete naman na siya. So let us now place, di ba? Kung sa to, pinakalas ang central atom. Let us have the nitrogen into octet. Therefore, that is two. Then, di ba? Six na lang nabilin. That is add two, four, six. Therefore, ten na siya tanan. Okay, the next one is in the five. If we look into this, okay, for car hydrogen, there are two electrons. For carbon, dili pwede, okay, lacking siya of two, di ba? Ang carbon, okay, carbon here. So what will happen is there will be a formation of multiple bonds. So pinahanglan. Kung if we are going to look into this, di ba here, tanaw ni mo nga ni, ah, this is 2 plus 2, di ba? Oh, meaning, kuwangan ang carbon. If we are going to have here a carbon, kuwangan pa siya, duha ka bonds. No? Duha ka double bond. Therefore, di naman nato ni pwede mahilaptan. So this one, these two electrons here will be shared with your carbon. So duha na ka bond. Then two electrons here will be shared with your carbon. Therefore, it will look here. It will look like this. So looking into our structure, no, is it having that octet rule? Yes. So look into your hydrogen. Hydrogen is only two. Now your carbon, carbon kanisha. Pila ka, pila na ka? Electrons, that is two, four, six, plus this one, eight, this one. Therefore, it's now octet. Na? Looking into for your nitrogen, can you nitrogen nimo? Therefore, that is two, four, six, eight. This is now the lowest structure of HCN or hydrogen cyanide. Na? So that is how to write the lowest structure of HCN. Na? So in the writing of the Lewis structure for polyatomic ions, you are going to have that into brackets so that you will know no? it's charged. Okay, so for instance, here, no? that is carbon dioxide, that is nitrogen no? dioxide, this is ammonia, ammonium, this is carbon tetraoxide, tetra okay, here. So how are we going to draw this? For instance, the carbon dioxide, no? For instance, here, for the carbon dioxide, how are you going to write this one? How I wish I could let you see. Let me have, okay, here. So if that will be the case, the first thing that we are going to do is let us get first 
the total valence electron. Your carbon belongs to group four. So that is four times one. Your oxygen belongs to group six. So six times two is 12 plus four. It is 16. So there will be total valence electron for carbon dioxide S. How much? It will be 16 carbons. So the first thing that we are going to do is let us write now the central atom. No? How we're going to write it, that is carbon at the center. Then we have oxygen at two sides, okay? Here, like this, it, it looks like this, okay? Therefore, the next thing is subtract that one. 16 minus four, we have still 12 electrons. In our 12 electrons, we are going to have that into the two oxygen first so that it will look like this. Okay, a minute, I'm going to show it to you. Okay. So this will look like this, okay. Therefore, you have now your Lewis structure like that, then, let us move on to rule number four. No? So fill the octet rule, no? octet at the central atom. How are we going to have this? Because it's already 16. So di na pwede siya. So what we are going to do is all we have to do is we are going to share. No? So share this. Two electrons here. No? Share it like that, okay, and the other one like this, okay, here. The next process is share the two electrons in your oxygen to your first uh, left, left oxygen and the right oxygen. Therefore, it will finally, it will look like this. Okay. Finally, it will look like this. So that is now our Lewis structure for carbon dioxide. Okay. So how about for nitrogen dioxide? It's almost the same. But what happened here is your nitrogen, no? what will be the total valence electron of nitrogen? Here, a minute. Okay, the total valence electron of nitro, nit nitrogen dioxide will be, your nitrogen will have five, okay? Five times one. Uh, five times one will be equal to five electrons. Then for your oxygen, it has six, then you have two atoms multiplied by six. Then, as I have said, if it is polyatomic, every negative will have, you should add it with one plus one. Therefore, the total valence electron is five electrons for nitrogen, 12 electrons for oxygen, and one electron for, one electron for, Therefore, one electron for the polyatomic. Therefore, it will have 18 electrons all in all here. Okay, so there will be 18 electrons that we are going to have. So what will be our central atom? Our central atom will be our nitrogen, then oxygen, oxygen, this one. Therefore, that will be 18 minus four, there will be 14 electrons. Then after 14 electrons, we are going to, what are you going to do? You are going to share it, no? having it with the octet rule with both of the oxygen. Therefore, that is two, four, okay, like this. Okay, so 
here it is. Therefore, that will look like that now. And the next thing is let us get all the number of electrons. That is four, then oxygen, we have six, then the other oxygen on the left and the right is six. Six times two, 12 plus four, how much it is? Huh? That is 12 plus four, it is 16, but there are 18 electrons all in all. Therefore, let us now have our lone pair. Diba? Pinakalas ang lone pair. Lone pair will be this one here. That's the lone pair. Place it in the, okay, nitrogen up. Huh? Finally, we can have this two. No? We can have this two. It could either look like this. That is our nitrogen with lone pair, then like that. Okay, it could look like this, this one. Okay, and the other one could have on the other side, okay. Pwede po na siya, Anna. Therefore, it will look like this. A minute. Okay, it will look like this also. So that is in the writing of nitrogen, the polyatomic ion nitrogen dioxide. The rest, kamunay bahala. Okay, so there are exemptions in the octet rule. For instance, molecules with odd numbers of electrons, that is NO and NO2. So molecules with less than octet, of the electrons on the central atom, for instance, BH3, now boron trihydride or boron trifluoride, exemption as yeah. So molecules with more than an octet rule of electrons on the central atoms belongs to period three to seven. So they could be filled with a D orbital, di ba yung kung SP orbital? orbital magkasagari, but for this, it could be in the D orbital. So these are the exercises that you are going to submit to me no, by, by Monday. No? So you have five here wherein you are going to write the lowest structure of either these molecules or ion. So Let's move on. Let us now go on to resonance. What is resonance? Yeah. This is the Lewis structure that we could write, draw into different, yeah, different, uh, different ways. For instance, ozone. Ozone is having three atoms of oxygen. So here it is, this one. So ozone. So how many electrons you have? That is six times three, 18. Therefore that is, look into this, that's two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18. Can you, can you, this is now the lowest structure of your ozone or O3. But this could be written also, pwede pa niyang double bond na ang anhia. Pwede po na anak siya. Take a look here. No? So by means of resonance, so here it is, the three atoms of oxygen. But this is an but this is at odd no, with the truth. So what will happen? Both oxygen O to O, o to O bonds, oxygen to oxygen bonds are the same length. Parionasha length. Both outer oxygen have charge of negative one. No? Negative one over two. Two, pariyor gina siya kay pariyor bina siya oxygen. Na? So, we're in, you can write this into different manner, but still they are the same. That is why it's so called resonance. 
So one Lewy structure cannot accurately, accurately detect a molecule such as ozone. So we can write this into a multiple structure. So this is a resonance wherein, as I've said, the double bond will be here. If you are going to get this one here for the oxygen on the left pilaka, electrons A, that is two, four, six, eight. Kung anhina po, kani, kani, center oxygen, there will be eight also, that is two, four, six, eight. Kaning sa right side, eight also. So we can write this octet or Lewy structure in this manner. Pwede po aning a manner. So pariho na niya correct. This is what is meant by resonance, meaning multiple structure. It could be here, it, it could be correct with this, or it could be here, the same here, or both. That is what is meant by res resonance. Meaning we can write the Lewy structure into two or more the structure, and they have the same or correct manner. Okay, so. For instance, this is your ozone, and it's a blue, it's a green. Put any oxygen, ha? Huh? Oxygen. So blue, green, yellow. Pwede na gapon ni siya kung ano gapon, no? Basta kay parihora na siya, no? That is resonance. Okay. So in truth, the electrons that forms the second carbon. Carbon single bond O bond in the double bonds below do not always sit between the carbon and oxygen. If you look into the original no, structure of that, using not using the ball and stick, no, but the three-dimensional no, structure of this, what happened is it, it does not really sit between carbon and oxygen, but rather they can move. Mono resonance, pwede siya move among the two oxygen. Pwede siya mag circle nga na, no? It could move, okay. For instance, this one, no? that is HCO2, no? this is the resonance of HCO2, first structure, the level structure, but pwede put ni siyang niya. That is why we have this, we have this, I call this arrow, no? Arrow at both side, meaning this one is still correct, this one is still correct. But actually, they are not localized, meaning dili siya steady. Instead, they are delocalized. What mean by delocalized? Mag-move, no? Kaning niya, mag-move ang atom sa Atom sa oxygen. Na? From kini to nganhi. Maone, maone na hitabo. They are delocalized. Meaning, they are not stationary. They are mobile. Okay? That is what is meant by resonance. So another resonance is the benzene. So if you will be taking up organic chemistry, benzene is very important as one of the functional group. No? Benzene and its derivatives. So what is benzene? Benzene is having a formula of C686 here. So C686, meaning there are three double bond uh, in a carbon and three also single bond. Uh, so three double bond, pila ka carbon tanan, ang benzene six. Ang three double bond, ang three pod single bond. Here, this one. So it could be written this way or this way. No? So that is now the resonance. So since, as we have seen, divide that's double done. No? We can have that into a ring structure. Can you bas a ring structure ni mo ang kada end ani is carbon. So pila ka carbon tanan? One. Ang end niya? Two, three, four. Five, six. Okay. So we can write benzene this way later on if you will be taking organic canisia. No? This is one whole coverage, one chapter that benzene. So double bond, 
Ang double bond, pwede niyo magbutangan ha. Basta alternate siya. Double bond, wala na po. Double bond, wala na po. Double bond. So it's alternate. Or you can have it double bond, wala. Alternate siya, double bond, wala. Double bond. Or you can have it in a ring. What is this ring? This ring here meaning na this is delocalized. Meaning na your it could not depict the exact location of your double bond. Pwede siya mag-move. And that is what is meant by delocalized electrons. It is in benzene. So let us have now the molecular shape. Huh? So molecules have different shape also. No? It could either be linear. Linear is straight lang siya. This is carbon. No? Example of this is carbon. Dioxide carbon, this oxygen, oxygen, diba? It's linear. Oh, this is an element A, then this is an element B1 and B2. Monang B, dua ka B2. So it's linear, na? Kanisha. Then the other one is bent. Linear shia, pero hing ana. Oh, hing bent. What do you mean by bent? Binisaya, hing baliko. Okay, no? so it's still it is still under A B two. What do you mean by A? This is the center element, no? in a compound. Then B is the two at the side, either linear or either band. Okay, that is the first. No? this is the first shape of the molecules. It could either be linear and band. Then another is trigonal. Trigonal from the word three. There will be three sides. Okay. So it will have a formula of A, B, three. A is at the center, the central atom S. Then B, three are the three the sides of your A, B, three. So that is example of this is SO3 or sulfur trioxide. And the shape of that is trigonal planar. It's still in the AB3, we have trigonal pyramidal. Paana po, paubos. Dili, pasaka tanan o paana. Na? This one is paubos tanan. It's pyramid. Na? That is so-called trigonal pyramidal. Then the other one could either be a T-shape. This is trigonal planar. Then the T-shape. So, under AB3, it has three shapes. That is trigonal planar, trigonal pyramidal, and T-shape. Under AB2, it has two shapes. It would either be linear and bent. So what determines the shape of the molecule? shape huh? Simply put, electron pairs, whether they they be bonding or non-bonding, or they repel each other. So actually, in the shape, it will depend on its repulsion and at the same thing on its bonding characteristic. Now, so by assuming electron pairs are placed as possible, as far as possible from each other, we can now predict the shape of the molecule. So it will depend on the non-bonding pair and the bonding pair. So this one, di ba kani mga bonding pair ni siya. Kanang walay pair, walay, wala siya ka-attach is known as a non-bonding pair. So if you look into NH3, pila ka bonding pairs. There are three bonding pairs. Pila ka non-bonding pairs, one bonding, non-bonding. So let us look into the electron domain. What is electron domain? Electron domain, this refers to electron pairs as electron domain, electron pairs. No? So in a double or triple bond, all electrons shared between these two atoms are on the same side of the central atom. Therefore, they count as one electron domain. This a triple bond, panacea, double bond, panacea or single bond na siya, ang count ana is one electron domain. So for instance here, 
this molecule has how many? Four electron domain. What is electron domain? These are electron pairs. Electron pairs as electron domain. So electron pairs as electron domain. There's one. How many electron domain? There are four. That is one, two, no, this one. One, two, three, then four. At A, is she at A? At A, that is ang quintas double bad usara, ha? That is one. Then here, two, then three, four. Bonding or non-bonding. Parihura, count anasya. So in the central atom, how many electron domain? There are four. Okay. On the left side of left side of B, how many electron domain? That is one, two, three, four. Four gapot. In the upper B, how many electron domain? There are how many? That is pila three. Why? Because this is one, two, three. Ingo ko sa inyo ang double or triple bond. Ang count ana as electron domain is only one. Then the B on the right side, how many electron domain? One, two, three, four. Okay, that is what is the meaning of electron domain. This refers to the electron pairs as electron domain. So, what's VSPR theory? This is known as the valence share electron pair repulsion theory or the VSEPR theory. This has something to do with the arrangement. The best arrangement of a given electron domains as one that minimizes repulsion among them. No? Or this is the shape of your electrons. No? So here it is. Looking into this, huh? ah. we have now how many electron domains you have here? The arrangement here is linear. Pila kabuk electron domain? Duhara, no? That is this one here. Atong nana one and two. No? That is for linear. No? Then for trigonal planar, pila electron domain? There are three. That is kani This is one, two, three. Then Tetrahedral, pila ka electron domain, there are four because that is one, two, three, four. So on and so forth. The trigonal bipyramidal, how many electron domain? There will be five. That's one, two, three, four, and five. No? Then the octahedral, so these are now the different no? arrangement of electrons. It's linear. No? Kung linear, pila ka boxer linear, duha, di ba na bent o na ay linear yun, na Trigonal planar, electron domain is three. And the octahedral, octahedral eight. Na? Eight na siya. Pero pila ka electron domains, there are only six electron domains. Okay, so here is now the shape na? of our these are now the shape of our electrons. For linear, in ana siya, it is like a dumbbell. No? Like dua kabuk nag ana. No? That's linear. Kung ibutang pa siya shape into balloons, in ana siya, that's linear. Tetrahedral ka ni. No? Pila ka balloons, one, two, three, four. Ang tulo, nasa ubos. No? And ang usa na ah, sa ibabaw. Okay, that's tetrahedra. This is trigonal planar. Trigonal planar, tulu nga paubos. Okay, that's it here. That's trigonal planar. And in the linear, what is the angle here? The angle here is 180. Here, in trigonal planar, it's 360. That's 120 plus 120, 240 plus 120. It's 360. That is it. So for the trigonal bipyramidal, 
kaning sa ibabaw nga niya, it's 90. Then kaning niya nga side is 120. And the octahedral, kaning nga side nga niya, kaning doon ka side nga niya is 90. Okay, that's for the octahedral. So for the electron domain geometries, all one all one must do is count the number of electron domains in the Lewis structure. No? So the geometry will be that which corresponds to the number of electron domains. How about molecular geometries? The molecular geometry has something to do with its shape. No? So for instance, that is NH3, the ammonia, that is ammonia and Lewis structure near. Okay. No? So, if you are going to have it in a geometry, it looks like this. Nga no mang hingsaka mani. Because kaning lone pair nga niya, mo add po na siya o no, bira. No? It has also that repulsion here. Okay. So, that's the molecular geometry of the molecules. So, here is the tetrahedral. Tetrahedral nishia, that is AB4. Na? AB4. Therefore, this will be its shape. That's the geometry. Kani ang iyang, uh, by means of, kani ball and stick nishia model. Na? This is the ball and stick. This is by means of the structural geometry. Here, trigonal pyramidal, kani is the lone pair. Ang lone pair mo appeal po na siya o bira pasaka, di ba? Okay, here. So, this is how it looks like in its geometry. Then, this is the bent. It, this will be its geometry. So, for linear, here it is. Na? Linear, how many domains, electron domains do, ha? Huh? Its geometry is linear. How many bandings? Bonding domains, duhara. Non-bonding, what my lone pair, it's zero. No, This is now linear. Example of this is the OC2 or carbon dioxide. Okay. As I have said, bisag double bond panisha, that is counted as one domain. So how many domains, electron domains, that is, that is here? One, two. So in this domain, there is only one molecular geometry that's linear. So there are only two atoms in this molecule. The molecule will be linear no matter what the electron domain is. No? Then we have the linear, this is the linear. Example of, this, the example of this, this one. The carbon disulfide, the hydrogen cyanide, the beryllium, Difluoride. Okay. It has a formula of AX2 or AB2. Ayan na siya, ha? AX2. Pero kung atong na, gamito ng X, okay. Kaneng X is what they call as the same na siya. Na? Ang E is the lone pair. Na? Lone pair. Basta E gani lone pair. So, Linear, wala siya lone pair, di ba? All of it are bonding. Na? Not, not, nai lo, wala yung lone pair, but tanan bonding electrons. So, this is AX2. And triangular planar na ay linear, di ba? Triangular planar, I mean, pila ka electron domains to lo, non-bonding wala, kani-kani. The formula here is BF3. So this is how your BF3 looks like. Okay. No? But another formula here is another compound, which is NO2. NO2 is under no? trigonal. It's still in the trigonal, but it will be bent. In what way? That is AB2. Okay. Because of the presence of the lone pair. No? That is it. So there are two molecular geometries here, the trigonal planar, no? where in electron domains are bonding. Sa band, nai usaka non-bonding. Ang non-bonding kaning lone pair. 
So this is the trigonal planar with a class of AX trig. This is X, X, X. So look at X. That is why osa ang A at the center. Central, central, center. That's, that is AX3. But here is AX2. Why AX2? So this is A. This is X2. Agway kay naamang kay lone pair. Butang yun yung B. So that is AX2E. Kani. No? Example of this kini sila. Aha. Uh -huh. SO3. Example of this trigonal planar. SO3, BF3, NO3, CO3. Example of bent shape, that is SO2, O3, PBCL2, SNBR2. That is for the bent shape. What are non-bonding pairs and band angles? No? So non-bonding pairs are physically larger than the bonding pairs. Mas dako. Non-bonding pairs. Kita ka ni, di ba? Mas dako ang bandan non-bonding kani na compare sa bonding okay so non-bonding pairs are physically larger than the bonding pairs and there is therefore their repulsion are greater mas dako pa yung repulsion sa compound nga na ay non-bonding so it tends to decrease bond angles in molecule so if you look into this kani wala siya lone pair kani na lone pair take a look it will decrease its angle mugamay na this is 109 this one ay lone pair 107 degrees kani na apagay lone pair so we have h2o manisha because of the lone pair it will have ang angle is decrease the band angles it will be decreased mas gamay for multiple bonds and band angle double and triple bonds place it will place greater electron density on one side of the central atom and less put sa picas now for instance we have it here this is uh ocl2 this one ocl2 okay since there is a double bond in O. So what happened is there will be more electron. No? Kani pareho siya 120, 424. Tapos kani gamay-gamay. Kita ka? This is 114. Kani 124 ang iyan band angle. So basta na gani siya no? No. Double and triple bond. So may tabo, there will be greater electron density. So for the tetrahedral, na ay three. Kamolecular geometries and tetrahedral. Na. Ang una is opatka bonding domains. For example, this one, that is CH4. It's tetrahedral ni siya. Or this could be written as AX4. Okay. No? Then here pila ka bonding non bonding wala no wala may lone pair kani ana ay tulo this is this is ab you are going to write this as ab3e ano ab3 there is a at the central atom then b tulo ka b that's why b3 then na ay lone pair so that is ab3e okay there are three bonding domains. That's one, two, three. Na ay non-bonding because there is lone pair. Here it is being written this one. Kani? Na dua ka bonding? Na, na kay dua ka bonding domain? Kana one, two. Na po na dua ka non-bonding. Kaning non-bonding na ay dua ka lone pair. Okay. So what happened? What? How are you going to write this? This is A, B, Two, then E2. This A, this is B1, B2. That is why A, B2. Then you have E1 here and E2. That is why A, B2, E2. Okay? So these are tetrahedral 
if all are bonding pairs, trigonal pyramidal if one is non-bonding pair, and bent if there are two non-bonding pairs. So this is bent, this is trigonal, kay na ay isa ka lone pair, kaniwalay lone pair, it's tetrahedra. And here, manatani, okay. How about this one? Na? We have three molecular shapes in the tetrahedral electron groups. That is AX4. Na? AX4, why AX4 this is A, then pilaka, X1, X2, X3, X4. That is AX4. What are example for this money in shape? It is the methane, the silicon tetrachloride, the sulfur tetraoxide, the chlorate, or chlorine tetraoxide. Here we have the trigonal pyrimidal with a formula of AX3E. Where is A? Can in central? X1, X2, X3. Then you have a lone pair E here. What are example of this? And it's 3, PF3, ClO3, H3O. Then another shape is AX2, E2. This is your A. This is X1, X2. So that's X2. Then we have E1. This is E1, E2. That is why it's so called AX2E2. Example of this is H2O, OF2, SCL3. What is the shape? This is bent shape. This shape here is trigonal pyramidal. This one is tetrahedral. Okay. So that's the trigonal pyramidal electron dot domain. Huh? So, Nashe, do a distinct position. It could either be actual, actual meaning, na, actual meaning, paubos, no, equatorial, kaninga niya, equatorial meaning nastunga, na, ang iyang mga, what do you call this, ang, ang iyang mga sides. Okay, so this is trigonal bipyramidal, na, electron domain, that is SF4, so what, how, how are you going to write this? This is A, then X4, then E1, or E. Now this is it, can you share? That is trigonal by pyramidal electron domain. Uh -huh. So in the trigonal by pyramidal electron domain, there are four. It could either be trigonal by pyramidal, the CISO, the T shape, and the linear. Uh, example here that is PCL5, this one SF4, this is A, AX, diba? this could be written as AX5, this one AX4, oh, AX4, then E, in a long pair. Uh, this one here is AX3, then E2. Okay, na I draw a long here. Kani, this is A, then X2, then E3. Okay, na I to look a long here. It's linear. Okay, so these are the four molecular shape of the trigonal by pyramidal. Uh, trigonal by pyramidal, the CISO, the T shape, and the linear. How about the octahedral? So these are the shapes under octahedral here. How many? The first one, it is octahedral. How many? Bonding domain six. And example of this is SF6. Or you can write this as AX6. That's octahedral. Then this one here is still under octahedral, but this is a square in a shape of square by pyramidal. It has a form of AX3, then E. Okay. And the last one is AX4, then 
e2, which is a square planar. Okay, so just look into the bonding domains and the non-bonding domains. Okay, so that's for the octahedra. Mm. Okay, so in large molecules, it makes more sense to talk about geometry. Pero kung gagmay siya nga molecule, it's difficult to look into its geometry. No? So, for instance, here, CH3, the number of electron domains, there are four. Okay, here. Can you, this one is four. Can you, three is four also. No? What is the geometry? Tetrahedral, trigonal, planar, tetrahedral also. No? So, large molecules tend to make approach in the geometry more sensible, especially kung tagko with siya, na, because you can see its site in the molecule. What's about the polarity? Na? So, we had already discussed the polar before, the polarity. Okay. We have discussed band dipoles or band polarity. So, can you still remember the electronegativity? No, if it is polar, it's ionic, it's polar, it's nonpolar covalent or polar covalent. It will depend on its difference in the electronegativity difference. But here, no, we can look into the overall, no, overall one polarity here, just looking into the type of a molecule. So this one is a polar. So polarity will mean, will determine the dipole moment for the molecule. In our previous lesson, we could get the dipole moment of the molecule using the electronegativity and using also the knowledge about polarity. So that is, how will you know? It's polar. No? Uh, looking into the arrow, dum -dum sa arrow, going to that one, this is polar. Manong polar mani because your chlorine, the electron cloud for the chlorine is gr greater in the chlorine than in hydrogen. This is partially, your chlorine here will be partially negative this one will be partially positive but greater ang electron cloud niya sa chlorine here okay a greater ang electron cloud niya sa chlorine okay same thing here with carbon and chlorine greater electronegativity niya nga niya sa chlorine chlorine site compared with the carbon so on and so forth all of these are polar molecule uh, polar molecules why because una ang the difference in the electronegativity uh, is in between sa to in between but it's just point 4 okay then point 4 to point 7 i think okay that's these are polar molecules no uh, so you can see here no, the definition between nonpolar no, at no, nonpolar and the polar. For nonpolar, what happened? The dipole moments of two identical polar compounds pointing in the opposite direction will cancel. The molecule now is nonpolar. Cancel gan is meaning equal shia. No, it is nonpolar. No. Still. The dipole moment of three no, polar bonds, 120 for each other, will cancel. This is 120, 120, 120. Cancel that shit. Then here, the dipole moments of three polar bonds in a trigonal pyramidal arrangement will also cancel. And it will be a polar molecule. Here, the dipole moment of two bonds with an angle of less than 180 for instance an example of this is bent no? it will cancel and it is a polar molecule then the last one the dipole moment of four identical 
polar bonds in a tetrahedral arrangement will cancel and the molecule that does it forms is a nonpolar. How are we going to have the overlap of bonding? Huh? So overlap on bonding, can you show? Overlap on bonding, any? The hydrogen and the chlorine. That is why what happened? Must the ang electron cloud then is a chlorine compared with the hydrogen? No? So that is overlap and bonding. So increase in overlap brings the electrons and nuclei closer together while simultaneously decreasing the electron electron repulsion. However, if atoms get too close, the inter-nuclear repulsion is greater or greatly raises the energy. Okay, so these are known as hybrid orbitals. No? If you have the X, Y, Z plane, the P manisha, kai, ang geometry will only have with the S and the P. No? So it's hard to imagine tetrahedral trigonal bipyramidal other geometries arising from atomic orbitals we recognize. If we could not know its dimension that it has, for P, it has three, that X, Y, Z. P, X, that P, Y, P, Z, any. Huh? For S, S, Toranasha, X, and Y. Huh? Here, for P, we have P, X. This is P, X. Then P, Y, P, Z. Two electrons here for P, X. Two electrons here for P, Y. And two electrons here for P, Z. Total of P electrons, there are six. So here, for instance, beryllium. Beryllium is four, di ba? Mm. So that is 1s2, 2s2, electronic configuration, and 2p, but it's just 4, therefore, put the bushes 2s. Okay, there will be no sing, single occupied orbitals. But if it absorbs small amount of energy, what will happen? So if it will absorb, what will happen? Your 2s here will be one of the electrons here will be promoted to your 2px. One electron. So the mixing of the sp orbitals yields two, two degenerate orbitals that are known as hybrid orbitals. So there will be a maitaboani if this will be here, can you share kung mu kung who promote she into P, it is known as a hybrid orbital. It is an orbital between S and P. Uh, they are known as SP hybrid orbitals. This one, the SP hybrid orbitals. Uh, SP hybrid orbitals. Kani, kani, SP. This is gamay ang S and P like that. That is SP hybrid orbitals. These two degenerate orbitals will align with themselves at 180 degrees. For instance, for beryllium, it's linear, Canisia, beryllium. But there is an overlap region with your P. Huh? So, it will look like this. There will be large lobe of sp orbitals. So that is what is meant by hybrid orbitals. Any? Huh? So hybrid using similar model for boron. This will be our hybrid. Any? Sp two, the hybridized because it is promoted. Kani nahimong promote Therefore, that will be Ang kani, kana hing transfer ngan ha, because kana hing transfer ngan ha. Na kani hing transfer ngan ha, because kani na promote ngan ha. Okay. It will look like this. This is the promoted one. This is now the hybrid. So it's a combination already of S and P. That is why so called SP2 hybrid. Okay? Na. So this is three degenerate sp2 orbitals. The three degenerate. Uh, for carbon, 
di ba? Forma ng carbon. Okay. That is, this is your orbital filling for carbon. 2S and 2P. But what happened, Kanisha will be promoted. So, mo transfer kani, mo transfer nga ha. Kana mo transfer nga na. Tapos kani, usang kani mo transfer nga ni. This is now here. No? So, this is S, then SP3. Ano SP3? This is your S. This is P1, P2, P3. So, this is an SP3 hybrid orbital. No? Okay. So, the four degenerate will be SP3 orbitals. No? For instance, here, another one. The D. No? For instance, we have 3S, 3P, na a one yan here. So, you can rewrite this as this one. You will have the SP3D, no? Because this one is being promoted. Okay, so that is hybrid orbitals. So hybrid orbitals could also lead to five degenerate. That will be SP3D, no? Ang unang hybrid orbitals is SP2, no? So node is SP3. So node is, no? Uh, SP3D, and the last one is SP3D2 orbitals. So, once you know the electron domain, no, you know the hybridization state of the atom also. So, this one. Uh-huh. In the SP... Atomic orbital, you have the SP, the SPP, you have the SPPP, the SPPD, then the SPPDD. Uh, here are its hybrid orbital. This is 2SP, then 3SP2, this is 4SP3, 5SP3D, then 6SP3D2. So these are some of example of this hybrid orbital sets. No? Ani siya. Ani. 2SP, 3SP2, 4SP3, 5SP3D, 6SP3D2. No? What are valence electron, valence bond theory? So the hybridization is the major in this approach to bonding. So there are two ways orbital can overlap from bond between atoms. It could either be sigma bond na, and the pi bond. This is sigma. Na. So sigma, what is the characteristic of sigma? That's head-to-head -head overlap. Head-to-head, can you? Head-to-head, that's sigma bond. The pi bond is... Side to side. Dum dum ha? Basa sigma gani ulo to ulo. Head to head overlap. No? And pi bonds are side to side overlap. Gani? Side to side. That's a pi bond. No? Okay. So, single bond. Pila ka? Usa nga mga bonds na siya. It's sigma. Ang single bond, sigma bond na siya. No? Because... Sigma overlap is greater, resulting in stronger bond and more energy lowering. That is it. That's one sigma bond. Pero na nagani double bond na in a multiple bonds, the bond is sigma bond and the rest are pi bonds. Kung double bond, pila ka sigma usara, pila ka pi bond duha. Kung triple bond, pila ka sigma usa ka sigma na astunga o duha ka pi bond ang naa sa dua ka daplin. Okay, side to side man siya. Ang sigma is head to head. Okay. So, these are multiple bonds no, in a molecule. For instance, formaldehyde formalin. It has that sp2 orbital. Okay. So, in the multiple bonds, the triple bonds, as in acetylene, kung triple bond, the, there are two sp orbital form a sigma bond na, between the carbons and two pairs of p orbitals overlap in the pi bond fashion to form two 
pi times kanisya. Ha? Mo ni ang sigma kani kani dapat nga na das the sigma. Ang kana nga ha, kana nga na is the pi times. So that ends our ha chapter, no? Lecture in chemical bonding. So in the last part we have learned how to draw the Lewis structure, okay, the Lewis structure. And we also known the different geometrical na, structure. We also know what is VSPER, the valence shell electron repulsion theory. And we also know the composition of the multiple bonds, the sigma and the pi bonds. So, I hope you understand this and please, the exercises, especially in the writing of the Lewis structure, you should submit this by Monday. That will be your, sige lang, I will place that in the LMS for your assignment. Thank you for listening and have a pleasant day.